Hey, what's up guys, Rev here. So today we're dealing with a very frustrating situation where a few days ago, a VTuber made a list of their peers that they are claiming are transphobes. Now, of course, this list contains a lot of outrageous claims and it also contains names that don't belong there, including Silvervale. Now, if you're familiar with what happened to her in 2023, you're probably getting some deja vu because yeah, she is it was once nasty. again being falsely labeled a transphobe. Now, what happened in 2023? Well, of course, we had the Hogwarts legacy harassment campaign. Now, I have spent... So, did anything trigger this, like, to happen recently? Like, why, why are they targeting her? Did something new happen? Or this is just weird. Literally hundreds of hours talking about that harassment campaign on this channel. And before we get into the current transphobe list that this VTuber has made, let me either remind you or inform you about this harassment campaign. So Hogwarts Legacy releases in February of 2023. And a lot of people made the assumption that if you bought this game, you were a transphobe because they saw this title, which is of course a Harry Potter IP, which belongs to JK Rowling. And people on Twitter believe that she is transphobic. So they believe that buying this game eventually through a million different steps ends up killing trans people. That's how outrageous the claims were. You can't live this way. Like there are so many, there are so many game companies who have had bad practices before in their company. There are so many bad game devs. There are so many bad actors. You know, if, if you want to do it for yourself and your own beliefs, that's fine. But like, when you go any further than this, it's like, it's literally impossible. Are they bored? Like, is there nothing, is there nothing good to talk about? So they just gotta like, stir the pot. Like, this is weird. And people were saying this as soon as the game released. They were saying that buying this automatically makes you a transphobe and that you don't support trans people or gay people or Jewish people and all kinds of other people they believe that are being targeted supposedly through the purchase of this game. And I just want to say that this was not a small issue. I lost some people that I had collabed with before and people who I'd spoken to before because I made a post around the time saying like, I'm not gonna buy the game because I just don't even think the game looks that good. Like, I'm not even interested. But please do not treat me like I'm better than other people who do choose to play the game. Anybody who chooses to bully other people who have bought the game or use the idea of not playing the game as some sort of like moral, better morally than the people who did play the game. Anybody who does that, like they're no friend of mine. I don't support that. I said that and I lost a lot of like just potential people I was like talking to a little bit that I had just met and they just went in my DMs like, I can't believe that you are so hateful of trans people. And I was like, what do you mean? I just said, I don't like bullying on either side. I don't like bullying and, and like they would not take that they're like I just uh I feel like you're a bad person and I can't be friends with you and this happened a couple times during that time like I've never seen a bigger amount of people kind of dogpiling and bullying since I've become a VTuber and we saw even search engines being made by people on the, the day of this game's release so you could search up streamers to see if they're playing this game and of course this was used as a harassment campaign oh yeah you there was literally like a hit list of people who had played the game and you could look that streamer up and find out if they had played the game or not have they streamed that wizard game the thing that drove me nuts too about this logic is it basically means that you don't have to ever support trans people or be nice to them. You just have to not play the wizarding game and brag about it on Twitter. You know, you could you could give to charities, you can help trans people in the real world, but if you've played the Hogwarts game, then all of that goes down the, the sewer. So I could be a hateful person IRL, and, and that's fine. As long as I don't play this game, I get the free pass that says I'm a supporter. Okay. And a tool for people to search up these streamers and to harass them in their chat. We immediately saw some female streamers like this getting bullied by people. This streamer in particular was not only streaming Hogwarts Legacy, they were also simultaneously running a charity event for LGBT youth. Yep. But despite that, because they're playing this game, they were harassed by dozens to the point of crying on stream. Shortly after, we saw Pikami yep. suggest 
that she might play Hogwarts Legacy, and then she was blasted with hundreds of messages accusing her of being a transphobe, among other things. We also that saw was Pippa nasty. get harassed and slandered by a bunch of people who were claiming yeah, that Pippa got her streaming too. of this game was literally getting trans people murdered. We also saw Silvervale, of course, and the reason we talk a lot about Silvervale is not only because she's on this list we're talking about today, but she's also arguably the most documented victim of this harassment yeah, campaign. Not that the other ones weren't sad, but hearing Silvervale talk about it, I also think she might have been more outspoken than the other people. It was just heartbreaking. But Silvervale is not only because she's on this list we're talking about today, but she's also arguably the most documented victim of this harassment campaign where she goes on stream and talks directly about what's happening to her and her reaction. We see this happen through multiple clips that we're going to once again revisit today. So here we are. This is the recently released supposedly transphobic VTuber list. This VTuber saying, here's my sadly ever-changing list of transphobic VTubers to avoid. Dude, this was on April 7th. This Sunday, somebody released a whole hit list again just because. And of course, the replies are now locked on this tweet, so you can't even argue with the points that they're trying to make. You know that they, uh, they have a bad point when the replies are locked. <laughs> now let's go to the beginning of this document that has been changed many times, by the way. So it says this. A list of those that maybe are good to avoid or not, it's your choice. Note this is from personal experience slash others, VTubers' experiences. I'm taking the screenshots I've seen and the personal stories I've heard to heart. And down here it says, Bro, this person's going out of their way to like look for shit. That's crazy. So you don't have a life. Got it. Guess I should once again mention this isn't to harass others, but to ignore. That's the point of this which is absolutely outrageous to claim that you're not harassing others or trying to cancel others with this list. You are publicly calling these people transphobes. What do you think's going to happen to them? Negative things. That's exactly what happened with the Hogwarts legacy harassment campaign. People got Yeah, sure. The second you write a list and accuse someone of something like that, like being transphobic, it's going to uh, incentivize people to go out to these people and harass them. Sure, yeah, obviously. Got labeled as transphobes for playing that game, and then they got harassed by people who believed that they were transphobes. That's exactly what's happening with this list. <laughs> yeah, this is insane. Like, I just, just for nothing, I guess. They just decided to make this out of whim. Hogwarts legacy harassment campaign. People got labeled as transphobes for playing that game, and then they got harassed by people who believed that they were transphobes. That's exactly what's happening with this list. What do you think's going to happen to people put on this list? It's very obvious. But going yes. down at one point under 100%. the list of transphobic VTubers, we see Silverbell with a big section here saying, used crocodile tears when addressing Hogwarts legacy transphobic situation, which led to many trans VTubers being swarmed with hate raids, banned the word trans in her chat for a month or so. The whole situation behind Silverville is very odd. Her community activity verbally uh, harassed trans people and she enabled it. And they have this right here as, as proof. And then also they claim that she started the trans people are Twitter freaks and apparently call them cockroaches. So looking at this section of uh, claims here, every single one of them is either completely made up or easily disprovable through the most tiny amount of research on this situation. So yeah, the other upsetting thing, okay, I don't know. I think the most harmful thing about this list now that I'm looking, all right, is that there are other names on this list who the proof is completely different by the way so there was voice leaks talking about trans people in a negative light so i would encourage you to go look at those for yourself like whereas silvervale a lot of the like these claims are false so what makes this even worse in my opinion is there's some truth along with somebody who's being uh misrepresented section of uh, claims here, every single one of them is either completely made up 
or easily disprovable through the most tiny amount of research on this situation. So let's go back in time. It's February of 2023. Silvervale has done a couple of Hogwarts legacy streams on Twitch and hasn't yep. really received a lot of backlash quite yet. However, things are starting to pick up with this harassment campaign. And then there's this claim right here where she banned the word trans in her chat. This is an outright lie, by the way. And it is eerily mirrored by these tweets from February of last year where other- mm. So Automod, we use Automod. It like will randomly bleep out certain terms and then you have to hit like accept. When you enable Automod for the first time on your channel, it over censors the crap out of everything, including words that like maybe shouldn't even be censored. And I have a feeling that trans somehow is on the Automod list, which is Twitch's fault. It's Automod's fault. 80,000 views and 57 retweets because people do not know how Automod works, apparently. It literally says Automod, but people are like, this is proof that she she's flagging the word. Like, I don't know. Put the word trans in my chat. Put somebody type it. I don't know if I, I might have already approved it. But it might not be. Yep. Yep, it automatically filtered out. That's it, guys. Guys, I guess I'm against trans people. Let me see if I can show you. Here, here, I'll show you what I see. Do you see this? It says Automod, held message for reason, sexuality, sex, or gender. Why is that even a section on Automod? I don't know. But this is what it says on my end. Yeah, and then I just have to hit allow. And then that word will be allowed. Now, like, see, it's approved for everyone now. Yeah, there you go. See, now it's approved because I allowed that word to be not filtered out. So, so hopefully now you see what I'm seeing where it's just like, it randomly has a section like that. And, and I didn't like enable that. I just hit auto mod. Do you want auto mod on? And I hit yes. That's all I did. Their VTubers were falsely claiming that she was banning the word trans from her chat. Now, this is something that's not only a false claim, it is something she directly addressed at the time, and people intentionally ignored this. Yep. Uh, it's Twitch default automod behavior. I haven't banned any words in chat other than ones used only for harassment. It's Twitch automod behavior because no one has randomly said only that word in chat, which, uh, by the way, we just discovered that nobody in my chat has said that either because I only now just approved it today because people just haven't used that word by itself. In this statement on her Discord server, which would be spread around on Twitter, she would further elaborate what happened here, that this word wasn't banned as her choice or her mod's choice. This was a feature of Twitch's own system where they yep. automatically hold for review some words like trans, for example, because oftentimes when people are bringing up trans, especially in a stream that has nothing to do with it, there's a chance that someone's being harassed, that they're using the word trans to harass the streamer. It's to protect the streamer and the viewers from transphobia, actually. It's probably a sign that sentences that have the word trans in them tend to be more hateful than those without it. So it's actually probably meant to keep hate speech out, not the other way around. Case, ironically, people were going in and doing something different where they were spamming things like trans rights in her chat to show some sort of a message to her. Or they were saying, you hate trans people. So in that way, it was getting held for review, but the system was there already. And that's what happened, but people- Let's clip you out of context. I mean, people can do that. I can't stop people from doing that, but I think anybody who comes to my stream knows that you're full of shit. People didn't care. They falsely accused her of banning the word trans because in their eyes, she must be transphobic. And it was around that time that the harassment campaign against her really started to ramp up, where she would then, in an emotional statement, address this on stream. <laughs> And Man, I hate watching this clip. It's so sad. Doxing and people doxing my friends and like so much horrible, vile things all from streaming a fucking video game. It's just insane. Like, hate breeds hate and it doesn't help anyone. And I don't know, I 
like I got to the point where I was I was sick of seeing hatred all over and guilt tripping on random art tweets. It's literally like they gang up on so many random tweets about Valentine's Day or art or automated posts. Like they they wanna post so much negativity everywhere and I just got sick of it. So I block people. Because yeah, because that's the problem is that when like hate is widespread, it's like that is all you hear like over and over and over and over again. And it's just like a hate mod of like people just parroting the same things over and over again. Like, of course, it's it's going to get to you like we're all people, you know, because I just wanted breathing room. <laughs> Obviously, you can tell from the clip that she was very upset about the situation and very upset not only about the harassment that she, her family, and friends were facing. She was also yep. upset about these claims that she is transphobic, among other things, okay? It obviously upset her, but people were not buying it. By people, I mean many VTubers in the scene. They were mocking the situation, saying that she's still a transphobe. Some people saying that she is attacking Jewish people. What that the heck? it doesn't matter. She's not getting bullied, that it's backlash, and she's only being criticized, and that they don't care about this situation. I hate this. I hate this idea of, like, I have the moral high ground, so I can be hateful myself and get a free pass. She deserves to be treated horribly. I could treat her horribly, because she's in the wrong. In fact, we even saw viral tweets here, claiming that she was using her tears to manipulate her viewers. People saying that she was literally weaponizing her cis woman tears. Yeah, yes, people these... called them crocodile tears when this came out. There were so many tweets about her faking crying to get sympathy. These are the progressive people attacking a woman for crying after being harassed on a mass scale. Now, instead of laying down and continuing to take this harassment, about a day later, Silverville once again addressed the situation on now, there is a little bit of context here, I think, too, by the way, which is that there were some people who, like, who were outwardly supportive of her, even so. One of them was actually Asmongold, in case you guys uh, remember. She had kind of, you know, gotten some support, which is really great. On stream, and we would get one of the most iconic clips that we've ever seen in any V2-related situation covered on this channel, where she would fight back and put her foot down, say that she wasn't going to take this harassment, and then she would dub the people harassing her over playing this game, the now infamous phrase, Twitter freaks. And uh, to all of the cockroach V tweeters okay, crawling out from under the floorboards, climbing onto the hate train and making fun of a girl crying after being harassed incessantly uh, for your crumb of clout, fuck you. So that's all I had to say. <laughs> and I think that's great, by the way. Fuck them. Now, the weird thing that happened on Twitter is that people misconstrued that to say that she called trans people freaks. She does not say trans people. She says people on Twitter who are harassing her. She says it in the clip directly who she's talking about. And But it was like literally mass spread by so many people who said that like, she was directly calling trans people freaks, that it was like, here's the clip, here's the original clip. People were still on that and were like, no, no, she's she's calling, you know, the group of people that she already hates this. And I was like, what the heck? <laughs> and we're gonna enjoy this fucking game. And I will not be bullied by a bunch of Twitter freaks with nothing better to do with their goddamn lives. Be nice to people. If you want to make changes, go make actual changes instead of harassing streamers on the internet. Yeah. That's what I said. Playing or not playing a game is like not really making a change or helping people or fighting for a cause. LGBT people are awesome. Twitter people are not awesome. Yeah, they're not. Fuck you. Fuck them. Wizard game! <laughs> so going back to the original document and the person making this transphobic VTuber list, you can see they would once again make another false yep. claim saying she never told her community to stop harassing people, to not use Twitter freaks against trans people. She didn't speak out against any of it. The tears were fake. She didn't and doesn't care about trans people. It's a veil. A silver veil. Wow. wow. They really were proud of themselves for that one. 
But once again, aye, aye, aye. instantly disprovable with this screenshot from her Discord from February 17th of 2023. Yeah, this I believe was right after she said that that last that clip where she said like fuck the cockroaches. She still advocates for kindness where she directly addresses this and says, please don't spread hate towards anyone and that she loves and appreciates everyone and encourages people to basically focus on their own community and not to go out and harass people. And you can see the number of reactions, almost 3000 reactions on a Discord message. That's a lot of people in her community seeing this post and agreeing with its message. But of course, the person who made this transphobic VTuber list doesn't care about evidence like this. In fact, this direct screenshot was brought to their attention and they dismissed it. That's right. They actually dismissed it. They even wrote notes here about why everything is wrong. So yeah, this is still the same person, by the way, just just trying to get some Twitter updates or something. I don't know. She once again claims that Silvervale was fake crying to rile up her community and that her side of only semi-discussing the, auth the author and spent, uh, spending the majority of the time shit-talking Twitter freaks, a term that refers slash has been co-opted to talk about trans people. I told you, there it is. I didn't realize it came from this person, by the way. I knew that this was spread around, but even me, okay, who was there for this, did not know that it was this person on Twitter that started that accusation. I didn't even know where it came from. I just kept hearing it everywhere. Another false claim. Again, Twitter Freak was only made to address people who are harassing others for playing a video game. That's all it's ever meant. If you think it means anything more than that, you are making that up. But down here, they also say talking about not spreading hate, but the community continues to do it and she doesn't say anything or care. I mean, she's literally saying it right here. Twitter is its own toxic cesspool where a lot of ways of thinking like can't exist outside of Twitter. So it's just important to note that Twitter users are the problem here. And so she's, she might be, I don't know what she's doing at this time, but she might be staying off Twitter. Cause like, obviously anybody who watches her content, you know what I mean? Or uses half a brain cell knows that like all the accusations are not even true but anyone who's willing to believe what this other person is saying has already like gotten rid of any logic and there's no point in arguing with them it's right here i mean once again and then down here oh my god it says lgbt when just trans people are being harassed what are you talking about also there are people accusing her of being homophobic or anti-semitic for playing this game as well and when you say LGBT, that includes trans people. I think you're you're getting a bit ridiculous when you're saying it was inappropriate of her to use LGBT to say, to address people that you should respect and not harass. That's absolutely outrageous. I know I was saying with this document that there was a lot of unfounded claims because there wasn't research. I guess it doesn't even matter if they did research because even when they're presented with evidence that shows that their claims that Silvervale is transphobic is wrong, they just dismiss it with their own headcanon, basically. Yeah. Now, of course, a lot of people are aware of the Hogwarts Legacy harassment campaign, and they're aware of what happened to people like Silvervale, and that's reflected in the comments, which eventually would be turned off on this original tweet sharing the Google Doc. And you can see people basically saying, thanks for the recommendation. I'm going to go follow these people that you're listening. And also, like, I, I wouldn't Base. be surprised if I end up on there now because I had the uh, the nerve to question these ridiculous claims against people like Silvervale. But yeah, that's going to do it for this video. Here we are in the year 2024, and we're still talking about Hogwarts Legacy because of people like this. Everyone said this game would be irrelevant in a month. Well, here we are a year later and still talking about it because people can't let the harassment campaign go and they're still trying to harass people involved in this situation who simply played a video game. Yeah, but that's, that's gonna so do sad. it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. As always, feel free to share your thoughts about today's topics in the comments section down below and I'll see you guys next time. I can't believe that they're randomly making a list of VTubers to avoid and throwing hate at Silvervale, like, for no reason. Just because they're bored and they have nothing better to do. That's so dumb. Fuck them.